The Green City Toolkit is a reference guide for ADB staff and consultants, but also for practitioners to get a sense of what some of the key concepts are for green and sustainable development and how those concepts can be applied for designing urban programs and urban projects in the places that we work. The Green City Toolkit is designed to help make better decisions about green and sustainable development in, in urban areas. Uh, and it introduces key concepts and what the building blocks are to enable a city to grow and to develop to being more livable and more sustainable. I don't know if you can actually call a city fully green. It's an incremental process. Uh, with lots of different elements and so we try to uh, address all of the ver various elements in, in uh, a city be uh, moving along that transition to being a green city. Um, this could be in terms of improving their uh, re resilient infrastructure or low carbon transport or more efficient energy use but it's all uh, it's an iterative process uh, and, and one that uh, needs to be facilitated. It also needs to in, uh, ensure that the community uh, becomes fully aware of and, and embraces that approach to green cities. For me, I think uh, we cannot say a city is green or not because each city's uh, situation is different. Basically, we, what we can do is to help a city to become greener. So, for example, if a city has better low carbon transportation, we can say this city is greener. And also, if uh, more renewable energy is used, it's also greener. And then the uh, important element for the um, green city, basically, is the integration of the all sectors. Uh, for the water and the food and energy, if they can be considered and plan all together for a city, then we can save a lot of uh, uh, energy and also we can have a better efficiency of using all these uh, elements. We can say this city is greener. Living in an urbanizing world, there's great pressure on cities to deliver all sorts of benefits to its citizens. Livability and access to green space and protecting the environment are key to ensuring that as, as a society and as individuals that we have access not only to basic services but also we participate in ensuring that we protect and enhance the urban environment but also the natural environment. So for me using the toolkit uh, as a practitioner is a way of contributing to better development outcomes in, in urban areas.